So our whole model revolves around changing beers. Craft beer drinkers are always after the next, next interesting flavour. In a quaint street in Tamworth lies the Welder's Dog, a local pub with a rustic and casual style. The house rules, well, they're as colourful as the characters. Owned by three university mates, it's a town favourite. Breakfast of champions. Takes us back to uni days. The Welder's Dog has been closed since the pandemic began, unable to reopen due to sit-down meal restrictions. We're trying to think outside the square and make those things happen so that, yeah, people can come back and enjoy this venue. Ben, Dan and Tom grew their own beers, running on a business model of local products and local jobs. Coming into winter, we've got our extra stout, which is a nice big, big milk stout. But jobs have been lost. Casual staff let go. Like many, the owners have had to adapt, offering a bunker box with home brew. To get through, the trio are looking at the positives. Whilst it's hurt financially, no doubt, we've, it's allowed us to slow down and work out, all right, where do we want to go? You know, what are we doing all this? Why are we so busy? Close signs are a familiar sight across town. Tamworth, like many other regional centres, has been through the worst drought on record, along with bushfires and now the pandemic. But very slowly, business is returning. Jai Segbor owns the CH Boutique Hotel. Occupancy fell to about 7% at the start of the shutdown and the business lost more than a million dollars in cancellations. It's been um, immensely difficult. Uh, it's been very emotional um, to see something that you've worked so hard for um, and strive for such great excellence to have it all slip away without you even being in control of the situation. The Pig and Tinder Box is using the coronavirus shutdown period as an opportunity to learn new skills. Everyone else in the business has, has had to pick up uh, parts of the slack which they wouldn't otherwise do. and. Um, yeah, maybe learn, learn a few new things, but it's certainly um, been one of the challenges we've had to face. For many industries, it's a changed way of life. People will be different in the way that they shop perhaps in the future, but I think that uh, we all now realise that face-to-face -face contact in a retail outlet's really important. In the background of the pandemic, the drought is still weighing on locals' minds. Chaffee Dam, the city's main water supply, is at 13.9% capacity. We've got some very large food processors in Tamworth and, um, you know, that makes it just a little bit more of a concern when you've got, you know, those 10,000 or so jobs that, that uh, are hinged on that water supply. But things are looking up. From June 1st, regional travel and holidays are permitted across New South Wales as coronavirus restrictions ease. It's a much needed boost for the Tamworth economy, which relies on tourism and local trade. We're still here, we're not going anywhere. I think we're a pretty resilient town um, and our community is really supportive of new initiative and supportive of business trying to stay afloat. Tamworth is also bracing for an influx of regional migration. City dwellers looking to get back to the simple life after time in isolation. I think that's a very real uh, opportunity. Already we're seeing a lot of interest from city dwellers, you know, to consider what the options are for those, you know, denser living areas. In good news, the heart and soul of Tamworth, the Country Music Festival is preparing to return next year, although slightly differently, socially distanced, of course.